hi, my name is Barbara and I'm a UX designer for the Alpha team. Today I'll be presenting um, two concepts for the assignment grader and these concepts in collaboration with Julia and Sabi are based on the feedback gathered from forums, tracker issues, as well as interviews from the community members um, facilitated by Ariel. So we started off with three concepts and narrowed it down to two for concept testing and then, um, but note that um, this is not an exhaustive, exhaustive report about the assignment grader discovery. Um, rather, um, I'll just be featuring four key areas such as filters, rubrics, um, file preview, and PDF annotation, and some key pain points, workarounds, and opportunities. Since the analysis isn't out yet, this presentation will mainly focus on um, two concepts. So let me share my screen. Before I um, present to you the two concepts, let me tell you about the key pain points, workarounds, and opportunities that we gathered from our research using the um, current behavior. So let's start off with the filter. So this is the current filter at the moment. Here on the top right is where you see the filter. As you can see, there's only like um, one filter. With, um, with the filter, um, there's a lot more filters uh, in the submissions page. But as you can see here, there's only one. So you would have to go back to the previous page to change the filter. So the filters are managed on a separate page, like not only here, but also on the uh, submission page. Therefore, there is an opportunity for us to allow um, filters to be managed or to be modified within the greater interface and, of course, enhance its visibility. Here, it doesn't tell whether there are filters selected or not. And the next thing is the um, rubrics. So with the rubrics, um, let me scroll up. So this is our current rubric. So, um, and let me actually um, expand that. So you see our rubric here, this is our rubric. And when you expand it, it goes like that. So um, there is actually um, a big problem with that because it, it appears like too small and hard to read, especially with large um, rubrics. It makes it really difficult to view the entire rubric at once on, on, this, uh, on this page. And so um, some teachers actually um, create offline grading worksheets in Excel or Word document in order for them to view and grade the assignments. So there is an, an opportunity for us to improve the display of the rubric and make it easy to read and teachers can use them to grade side by side. Another thing is um, we do have a um, problem with the files. Um, I'm going to go back and close this. This is, our, this is the file here. And so you, this is the file submission. And you can see the preview on this uh, PDF annotation. So the problem is that um, um, uh, teachers actually use this uh, as a workaround. They actually, with the PDF, they always turn the PDF annotation on to display and then um, to, to basically to, to view the files, even though they're not really um, uh, using the annotation just to pre preview it. So also there are some limitations when it comes to um, uh, file types that we support. So there's an opportunity for us to support more, more files and make it more reliable. And yeah, so by having, by, by having these, um, um, this file preview uh, work better, like properly, then they don't necessarily have to use the greater, um, the, the PDF annotation as a, as a workaround. And so we also have the um, PDF annotation here at the very top, here at the very top here. So um, there's, um, it's, it's quite old and clunky. And so, yeah, again, there's this, the opportunity to um, 
improve and probably cur curate at the same time. So this PDF here is always displayed and it takes, uh, takes up a lot of real estate even when there is no PDF in the submission. And as you can see on the right side is where you see the submission. So there's very little room for the online text submission and this PDF, even if it's empty, um, is displayed when it's not even uh, necessary. Now I'm gonna um, turn to um, the prototype or one of the concepts. So as I said, I'm gonna be presenting two concepts. Um, I will, I'll start off with this concept. So this concept is basically an enhanced version of the existing one, but we made it like quite minimal, simplistic, De we decluttered um, a lot of it. So basically at the top, you would just be seeing like, uh, you know the the breadcrumbs and then here is how we are now presenting the um sub online submissions we've allocated the space on the left to show the online submissions the online text submissions and at the same time here is where we are showing the files file preview here you can you you can select any file here and it should be able to be previews on this page because a lot of um uh what we learn a lot of the participants mentioned that they actually download the files to be able to preview them so if we could actually provide support for a lot a lot of uh, file types then they don't necessarily have to download it and then they can just view it on uh the grader and so here as well, uh, notice that we do have the um, simplified annotation tools here. Not only will you be able to note, uh, annotate on files, but at the same time, you can annotate um, online text as well. Um, the next is um, the grading. Um, here we showed you previously the problem with the rubrics and so here you're seeing uh, pretty much um, the rubrics on a separate tab we were allocating this space entirely for rubrics to allow more room to read the criteria and it makes it a lot more conducive easy to read just the right um, amount of space to actually grade side by side and last but not the least for this prototype is the filter. Here is where uh, you make it, make the filters obvious and visible that there's like filter selected and you can also um, change the filters here. So you don't necessarily have to go back to um, the previous page. And then uh, not, Pretty much some of it are the same as the current behavior. So there's quite a minimal change as compared to the new concept, uh, to the other concept. So let me now go to the new, uh, the other concept. So here, this is um, where you see the online text submission on the left, on the left, which is pretty much similar to the other prototype uh, mockup or concept. And here you can change between uh, the online text and file submissions. And you can also annotate um, online text submissions and files. So now you can see the similarities. And when we design this, we design them in the, um, separately. And so it just proves to show that this is probably a good way a better way to present these submissions, large submissions on a wider um, screen. Next is um, the um, grading. This is really interesting because here you actually have to, you actually start with, with an overview showing um, the, the group, and the type of submission and then you can on the at the bottom is a call to action to proceed to grading and there you would see the um sorry i went too fast i clicked too fast here is where you see the rubrics is, which is pretty much um it's pretty much the same as the other concept 
And so then from here, you would um, continue to feedback, and then you can give your feedback. And then, of course, you can go back if you want to review it. But there is sort of like a guide, like step-by-step -step guide on how you would um, go about grading. And then once you're done, you can actually finalize it. And there's a confirmation whether you want uh, to send notification. And last but not the least is the filter. Here is uh, where you actually uh, change the filter. And there's an indication here that says there's one filter. And so, yeah. But that, that's, that's about it.